So watch that screen in the back and as it goes up and down. You'll see it go. It's contextually aware of its surroundings. And so we've actually optimized that in several applications, starting off with YouTube. The Wi Fi in here. So, yeah, I could watch a movie like this, but that's great. But I could also turn it. It's going to automatically extend that display for me because it's contextually aware that the device needs to go to a bigger thing. And so we've actually, again, we've set the settings for this and Gmail, and I'll show you that in a second. But I'll show you that again. Of, again, I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm just turning it, and it'll automatically go up. So now I'm going to go into Gmail. And so for me, when I'm you know emailing, I need a lot more space because I'm usually typing a lot more. So I can come down here, type something, blah, 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 blah. and I can also close it. And I still have my full functioning keyboard. So it's a full functioning Android device in both states. Um, on top of that, we've also included our favorite, you know, moto action. So the twist of the wrist, I'll get the camera. And what's great about this is I'm going to turn it around to you guys. You actually are able to see yourself while I'm taking your picture. And that's all from that same screen. So you can see it kind of split right here. Um, on top of that, we've also included the little fun animations or it can just go black. Um, with the twist of the wrist, yes, yes. the yes, selfie yes, camera, yes. and the earpiece is going to come down. So not only does the device go up, but it also goes down to show that. It's pretty remarkable. Yeah. Um, let's go to the back of this, right? So in meetings, you know, I want to be a little bit more discreet. I still can see my time, my notifications. If someone calls me, I'm able to see that and either swipe no or pick it up to answer.